Hello, I'm Megan Schiller from KDKA TV News, and this is your KDKA News Now update. I've got your top headlines and the latest weather. A nurse charged with killing three nursing home residents and trying to kill 17 more wants to take a plea deal. But Chris Hoffman reports her lawyers are saying not so fast. Heather Presdy's attorneys want to make sure she has all the evidence before making a decision. And even law experts agree that's what the attorneys should be doing for their clients. The 41-year-old Presdy allegedly gave lethal doses of insulin to three patients in 2020. In total, 17 patients under her care have apparently died. She additionally had 19 patients claimed to be mistreated by her. Presdy faces first-degree murder and attempted murder charges. Anytime you have a defense uh, client, you have to make sure they have informed consent. While their client claims she wants a plea deal, the attorneys want all the discovery or evidence from the state. The state Attorney General investigated the case and is prosecuting it. De La Sente and De Pasquale feel it would help Prezi make an informed decision. It would be gross malpractice to have a client do anything in any case without having read and digested and discussed the discovery. Now, law expert Bruce Ankoviak at St. Vincent College says this is what attorneys should be doing for a client. Their goal should be to have everything they can to provide the best possible outcome. They could not adequately advise their client about all the ramifications of a plea deal. According to Ankoviak, if a client takes a plea deal and something comes out that could have changed the deal, it can create a mess. The client could tell the court they don't feel that they were represented well and want a new trial. That is a nightmarish consequence for the system. Once a plea happens, most of the prosecution efforts stand down. In this case, there have been more than 48,000 pages of evidence, and the attorneys want it all reviewed before Presley makes her final decision. You cannot do that without sharing so that they have an opportunity to review all of the discovery. And that's exactly where we are. The case was granted 90 day postponement. As for if there will be a plea deal, that's still yet to be determined. In downtown, Chris Hoffman, KDKA TV News. And now here's First Alert Meteorologist Ray Patlin with a look at your weather for the weekend ahead. Our temperatures are going to be hovering near 50 degrees through the entirety of the night. We're at 58 at the moment. It's breezy, if not gusty, with occasional gusts around 25 miles per hour. Temperatures at the moment are in the upper 50s, almost area wide. So very, very warm temperatures, but the cool down is waiting up to the northwest. This will drop in here over the course of the weekend. We'll step it down. I think we get to keep warm tomorrow as the cold front still back to the west and slow to drop in. So that colder is going to take a little time to get towards uh, western Pennsylvania. So just know ahead of it, we're going to see some showers. Those showers come in tomorrow and that front will pass over uh, later tomorrow afternoon and from there our temperatures start to fall off. So a warm day tomorrow, actually warm all the way through the night into the day tomorrow. You see these spotty showers. There's the front coming through tomorrow about four or five o'clock. That'll pass as our temperatures fall through the night. We're not going to rebound much on Sunday, so just know the colder temperatures are going to win. But look at this. Tomorrow, we're still going to be warmer. The past few days, including right now, we have been warmer than Las Vegas. Sunday, that changes. Las Vegas catches back up just in time for the Super Bowl, and they get some sunshine. But one thing we're watching out towards Vegas are all these winter weather advisories floating around, and you can see uh, Las Vegas right here, uh, winter weather advisories nearby, and they do have some snow nearby. And this system is actually going to drop down through the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. And then it's going to gather some moisture and point up towards us. We'll have some rain, I think, and potentially a mix on Monday. But as the cold air winds out, we see this transition over to snow. So we are expecting some snow once we get into next week as we transition back into winter and back into February. But nothing February about this. 49 degrees for our low temperature tonight. That's as cold as it's going to be. Then highs tomorrow get back into the lower 60s, so we get the warm day there. Super Bowl Sunday, 49 degrees, partly cloudy skies. I think it's going to be a beautiful day. Now Monday, the rain comes back, potentially some snow mixing in late, changing to snow on Tuesday, and we're going to have some snow showers there. Some of those snow showers carry over into Wednesday. Our temperatures are going to sort of bobble around as we try to work back into that colder pattern. So we'll get some ups and downs in those temperatures uh, for the middle part of next week. But the cold air for the end of February and start of March looks to win out, and we'll have the colder temperatures even by this time next week. We're talking 36 degrees. So if you like the 60s, 
degrees. Tomorrow's your last day to enjoy that because from there our temperatures fall and that'll be the case all the way through next week.